What's up off the hook fam? I'm back with another video. Today is October the 30th and it has been a whole hell in <laughs> mess yesterday and last night has been was so windy. At the new property that I've been at, I literally was sitting on the bed and the door just flew open. The door to the patio flew open. There's been faulty doors here, as I've mentioned in another video, hopefully. <laughs> You would have saw it by now, or I don't even know, cause my editing is sucks. But anyway, um, yeah, last night. So if I can show you, this is a door that goes to the patio that is um very normally faulty, but. If God be for you, who can be against you? missing to doors and doors just not being secure I used two scarves to try to secure these doors together because normally when you do a situation like that you may have two doorknobs but they literally have one doorknob both of these doorknobs are actually um, hanging pretty much hanging from the store I went to the Bryanson shopping center I attempted to go to vaults to take back the bed cover that wasn't what I actually was looking for once I opened it up I was looking for the actual bed skirt that goes all the way across and then hangs down but they didn't have that one so I tried to take it back and then they were like well you didn't get it from this store so we would need all of your banking information on a piece of paper in order for us to give you credit back. I'm like, uh -uh. <laughs> the devil is a lie. <laughs> I'm not writing my banking information, account number, routing, you know, everything on a piece of paper. <laughs> Come on, people. With the robbery today. But anyway, I was like, that's okay. I guess I'm going to just have to take it to Rose Bank. You know, I was trying to go closer because the Uber rates have been a lot higher um lately because of the uber people they went on strike and so they have been a little higher actually to go to different places around Bryanston is not like it's Bryanston Santon but it's not like where the Nelson Mandela Mall and everything is I like wish I had on my glasses <laughs> so um it was it's pretty cold I tried to find a heater at Clicks. They said they had put their heaters up already. I tried to find one at the Kim. They said they didn't have any heaters. <laughs> so I'm like, what am I supposed to do? I'm gonna freeze with these doors once again that have cracks at the top and 
are not closed all the way in no curtains. The curtains that I tried to buy, they turned out they were still short by about 25 centimeters short, 30. They wouldn't have came all the way down as low as the windows and it wasn't gonna look right because the whole point was to do blackout because the sun rises and comes up this side and the sun's beaming in first thing in the morning at sunrise. However, I've gotta go another night without a heater and with coldness because I think it's not supposed to get warm until Wednesday. So I'm still looking for a place. A lot of places that are available started on the first, which is good, but you know, you gotta do your paperwork and all of that. So we're gonna see how that goes. What else? Um, yeah, so that's about it on the update. So. I'm basically about to iron the sheet that I bought from Vulps that I never got a chance to add to the bed. It's a 600 thread, threaded count sheet um, to give me some extra one. And then I have my comforter, duvet comforter, and my, you know, my soft one here. Oops. So hopefully I will find a place soon. I'm actually supposed to be flying out. And I think I'm gonna have to extend that because I'm not even done doing things that I need to get done. I have some major distractions going on. And um, yeah, I have not been focused on my people. So um, hopefully I can move some things forward tomorrow and maybe find a heater at game or something. And that way I'll have one anyway, just in case since the weather just started to hell out of nowhere yesterday after 30 degree weather the day before, burning, blazing hot to cold. Yeah, apparently that's something that can happen in South Africa. So you see this one, and it's one door and all. You see this one. And when I tell you this is the majority of the doors, there is no screws to really tighten it. I think it's tightened from the inside. There is no pushing something up against it because you have to come back in. If you push a chair up against it from the inside, these doors are made to push out anyway. So that's what I'm dealing with. I am going to have to leave. Okay guys, so this is the first day that there's no power oh. since I've been in the bigger house that I have to relocate out of. Um, the gate wasn't working earlier. Uh, when I was leaving, I noticed the garage was up. I was confused, but the Uber was there and I was trying to hurry. And then I couldn't find the key to the inner door because I mean, it's like a million keys to the house. So um, by the time I left and came back, nothing is working none of the i'm assuming it's low shedding and i'm like what because <laughs> it's supposed to be a generator but i guess the generator's out of gas and so all this time i've been here i was just lucky and it wasn't low shedding so i'm hopefully um hoping that it comes back on before tonight because there's no backup lights here or anything all right we'll see y'all peace Okay, family, so I'm back from the store. This was the bed that I put together since I've been here. It's crazy how we sit back, we look, but we don't listen. Mental health struggles fall into the same category. This is that time to speak up. I'm stressing what happened, where you been. I need a chill pill. Is this real? What I feel? Are you listening? I can't control myself. I need a rewind or some me time. I want to go outside. Maybe relax my mind. It's time to let it go. 
basically because it's not gonna work out. I'm not gonna be able to stay in a place that this is just here. All the air leaking in, you know, doors flying open to the cold air. And downstairs there's a room where it literally goes to the outside of the house and it does not lock properly to where if you lock it, it just still, you can just push these doors out. Then there's an inner door that looks like some added locks were supposed to be put there so that it can secure the push door from the sunroom. And that didn't seem to do anything because all of those bolts that they had somebody come in and put in are falling apart and falling off. So here it is. I didn't have another housing situation that went left a little bit. Um, Not even a little bit, because at least last time, all I had was my bags with me and I had to back out of something. But now I literally have a fridge here. I literally have a washer and dryer here. I literally have my bed. Anxiety is keeping you awake. You say anxiety you just can't take, and now you're ready to shake. You say anxiety is keeping you awake. You say anxiety you just can't So when I got back, there was no lights. And there's still no lights. I'm really starting to panic. Um, I don't know what to do. I'm trying to call the guy. And um, with no electricity, my batteries are dying. So I'm just trying to find out what I need to do next. Um, I'll turn back in. It's literally dark without my phone light.